So today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite Roblox games, Sonic Speed Simulator. And if you don't know what Sonic Speed Simulator is, basically it's a, the official Roblox Sonic game. And it's an open world game where literally the only objective is collect orbs and rings to upgrade your character to become faster. And I've been hovering over this video for three weeks now, hoping for this game to change. Now the one good thing about this game, it has little to no bugs. I have yet to experience any bugs in this game. I literally cannot name a single bug that has occurred to me in this game. Like it's very well made. And I've started this video off with a bunch of positives because, well, I don't want to see this game fall off because they're not listening to the people that really enjoy the game. Because I can speak for like 95% of people that have played Sonic Speed Simulator. We really enjoy the game. It's really fun. But over the past couple weeks, I've noticed a steep fall in the player count of the game. Now, don't get me wrong, this is still a lot of people playing the game. My point is how quickly the player count actually dwindles down. Now, I recorded that screenshot or screenshot, whatever you want to call that. I screenshotted that at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, which is typically a good time for a lot of people to play this game. Now, why does the player count not play the game more than a day? Because the first day when the update comes out on Saturday, there's usually 70k, 100k people playing it. And then a day later, there is... 70% less than yesterday. What? And that's just because like the updates are, are not good. Like what is this? And this? And there were many updates that were just lazy and just not well done. Now you may be asking what is making these updates bad? And the answer to that is repetitiveness. Now every single week since the release of Sailor Tales we've gotten a scavenger hunt or a collect something event as a way to unlock every single character since then. Now, are scavenger hunts and collect stuff events necessarily bad? No, absolutely not. Keep doing it, but don't do it every single week. And especially for characters that don't matter. Like, there is no reason at all why I should be collecting 7,500 chili dogs just to unlock Sonic with a shirt on. Like, making us do obbies or races, it's called Speed Simulator for a reason. And that's another thing, nothing has been added to the game for the past two or three months that the game has been out. Besides Knuckles, Amy, and two maps. There's been 8 to 12 updates and we've only gotten four, 4 things added. Like don't get me wrong, the maps are good, but the skins, the reskins, they look nice. Just don't make us do so much just to get them. Like if you want more people to stay on your game, make us do something that will actually make us stay on the game, such as obbies. It makes no sense to not put effort in like 2 months of work on the most popular on your most popular game i'm sorry if i'm being harsh but it's just lazy like you just can't be lazy on your biggest product that's like if apple prioritized like the ipod instead of the iphone like why why would they do that like you have to keep the ball rolling now me being me i made a poll about two days ago asking you guys what you guys wanted to see as the next video and the options were sonic 06 sonic speed simulator new fnaf game and fortnite and as you can see, the vast majority of people voted for Sonic 06 or Sonic Speed Simulator. And about 120 people voted for that. So that would be 80% of people voted for something Sonic related. And what do I post? I posted the new FNAF fan game video. And whoop de doo it flopped. Very badly. It's the worst video I've made in the past, like, 10, 15 videos. I have not gotten a video that gets this low views in such a long time. Now, the reason I made my own poll is because GameFam did their own poll asking what character we wanted to see next in the new Sonic Speed Simulator update. And whoop de doo Shadow won by a big margin. And what character do we get in the next update? We get Knuckles. And which character do we get after that? Sailor Tails. And it just keeps going. And Amy gets released as well. Now it's been two months since that poll has come out. And Among Us has Shadow before the official Sonic Roblox game. And mentioning Amy, she actually came out twice. But before we complain more about this game, we're going to play a game. Spot the difference. All right, well, first we got the heart and then the hat. Like we have to do so much for so little. Like reskins are fine, but you have this many characters to choose from and more. You have more than what you see in this picture right now. Like you can even bring some of the fan characters such as Sonic EXE or like so Hypersonic. But just like the point of the video is just to like, I don't know, wake the devs up something because this update uh, with Metal Sonic this week is pretty much the most important update like we have. Like if this one is just not a good update, then I just feel like the game's just going to go downhill from there. And here's the thing with the Metal Sonic update. That was supposed to come out the June 11th. 
it was announced on Sonic Central where they were like, come join the fight against Eggman and unlock Metal Sonic or something. It was something along those lines, but it was basically just saying like, oh, join the fight against Eggman and collect the Lightning Chows on June 11th. It is now June 14th and the only thing that's in the game is collect Chili Dogs to unlock Summer Sonic and Amy with a special hat and a heart on the chest. And I haven't even talked about like how pay to win this game has gotten like they literally released the same chow every week for like 2,000 Robux or actually it's like 500, 600 Robux but then like the bundle for it to actually be good is like 2,000. So and they added like this bunch of like they added unlimited magnet, unlimited this, double XP, double levels. They have added so many things just for you to pay for. Now I'm not against like adding stuff that you have to pay for in the game. Like go ahead, make your money. I'm just afraid that they're going to end up like just not caring about the game at all and just care about like making money but i just hope that this update that's coming out in a couple days just completely changes like everything i just said in this video but that'll be all for today's video i really i don't expect a dev to see this but if a dev does see this i just want to say that i do love this game and i hope that you guys are doing your best and i thank you guys for you know working on this game because it's not easy taking on one of the biggest franchises of all time sonic like seriously i'm criticizing a roblox sonic game right now but i just hope that everything i said in this video or some of it at least is taken into consideration into the future of the game but for now thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe for more content and see you guys next time